The Revolutionary Armed Forces rebels in Colombia have called a temporary truce with the government in Bogota ahead of peace talks. Negotiators on both sides seek to end half a century of brutal fighting between Colombia and the rebels, whose forces number about 9,000. The BBC has more. The two sides meeting in Cuba have begun their first face-to-face -face negotiations in a decade. The negotiations will also focus on Colombia's distribution of land, which was the main reason behind the uprising. Since the 1960s, Colombia's government and FARC have fought over drug trade and what the rebels call the unjust claiming of private land for government purposes. The rebels have been responsible for a number of kidnappings and assassinations throughout the past few decades, including a 2008 hostage crisis that made international headlines. The Colombian government has demands of its own, among them that the FARC rebels help disband the cocaine drug trade that has largely funded their operation. They'd also like the help of the rebels to account for the hundreds of people it kidnapped or presumably killed. As Al Jazeera's Teresa Bo reports, the government has not agreed to cease its own operations. Well, initially, President Juan Manuel Santos has said that no concessions will be made until a final agreement is reached. We will have to see what's their response uh, to today's announcement. Monday's announcement from FARC follows seven months of secret peace talks in Cuba and a recent meetup between rebels and the Colombian government in Oslo, Norway. The Guardian says Colombia's leaders want to put violence behind them for, if nothing else, economic reasons. The government hopes peace will lead to greater foreign investment in mining industries. It has promised to return millions of acres of stolen land to displaced peasants, one of the rebels' main demands. If truce talks proceed, the FARC rebels will lay down their weapons for at least two months, from November 20th to January 20th. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, The Real Story.